Hello, I am Hazal. I am a PhD student in the field of gastronomy and culinary art. Today, I am going to talk about how to establish trends in culinary tourism. Likewise, rural entrepreneurship, rural synergies in food and tourism has an importance, particularly food, has an important role in the development of tourism services since it often compromises 30 persons or more of the tourist expenditure and this money is regularly spent directly with local businesses. It also argued that integration food experiences into sustainable tourism development in rural and outlying areas may help ease poverty. About the management of this, the main focus points are income management, Kitchen management and customer care management. Okay. To achieve rural synergies, look further to the location on the destination's map of gastronomy value are relevant for determining synergies and networks of interest. Also, to generate synergies and gain critical mass, support the creation of partnerships, working networks, product clubs and clusters. Let's look deeper to cave drivers of tourism synergies. Rural tourism is targeted towards development of the rural sector and without local cooperation, this may turn out to be an impossible mission. Mm -hmm. You should ask yourself what can be the potential regional tourism clusters and partnership. One answer to this can be territory cooperatives or for example local uh, authorities about tourism. Also, sub regions of partnership based on the geographical proximity and shared geographical features. The last one can be sub regional thematic based partnerships such as cultural heritage. Uh, you should also remember tourist aspects need to be developed mainly in synergy with nearby locations and local reception facilities such as accommodation or information. As we come to the end, here are some suggestions for you to prevent conflict in partnering. Communication is the key. You should know each company, but also full commitment by the participant is needed. Don't forget to plan properly in early stage when partnering is applied. Your experience matters. You should share all the risks. Let's guide you to embrace an entrepreneurial mindset. To embrace an entrepreneurial mindset, you can read on entrepreneurship to make this transition faster and to adjust your mindset. There are lots of books on this topic, but I will recommend you the three thoughts. The first one is The Age of Meta-Entrepreneurship, A Journey into the Future of Entrepreneurship. The second book that I will recommend you is The Entrepreneur Mind, 100 Essential Beliefs characteristics and habits of elite entrepreneurs. The last one is the entrepreneurship for rural startups. It's an evil that you can easily reach. Uh, but of course, you can, apart from my suggestions, you can always try to find online books in your own languages. Continually working with the right people on this journey is also essential. Of course, not every entrepreneur has to start with a business partner. The process of finding a partner, which should not be perceived as doing business with friends, it should be seriously considered. In this process, legal and financial issues should also be taken into consideration and legal support should be obtained during formalization of the partnership. An entrepreneur should always be ready and take precautions against possible disputes. Another indicator that matters is the location of your business. During the location selection, there are some criteria. Keep in your mind the sale of products or services, the nature of the target audience, the income level of the target audience, the targeted market, the transportation facilities, the prestige of the location, the easy recognition of the shop can be evaluated. When choosing a location, 
entrepreneurs with financial difficulties should also consider their financial conditions. Spending capital thoughtlessly can prevent a successful entrepreneurial career. Doing advertisement and promotion work is a key element as well. Entrepreneurs who organize catchy, remarkable and viral advertising campaigns without spending too much budget can take place in the minds of their target audience. For advertising and promotion activities, traditional and digital marketing strategies may need to be implemented simultaneously, depending on the field of activity of businesses. Also, you should create a circle and constantly try to develop your business network both before and after your uh, startup is launched. You should not ignore the fact that everyone you meet can turn into your a potential customer. To do this, you should be sociable, attend social events and business meetings, and if possible, visit your potential customers and introduce yourself. As your personal network expands, you can reduce your success concerns. If you also consider that finding references is very important, you may realize that you can increase your sales potentially. Moreover, there are entrepreneurship courses that are offered all around the world, such as this course. The aim of these courses is to encourage students to entrepreneurship and to equip them with the knowledge that will increase the success rate of entrepreneurship. In addition, topics such as thinking techniques for innovations, business plans, marketing are given to the students in this course. For example, Udemy courses, edX courses, and freecoursesweb.com. Here are some inspirational stories of the success of rural area business in gastronomy and stories of success about synergies in Turkey. The first story is from a Denizli, Turkey, an entrepreneurial woman who raised a few cows she bought from her mother to meet, to meet uh, the meat needs of her children and started to raise animals. She established a meat production farm with the support uh, she received from the agriculture and rural development support institutions. The entrepreneur woman who received 65% grant support uh, for the facility with an investment cost over 1 million liras and equipped the facility with the latest technology. Uh, she also sells uh, 900 liters of meat to processing with facilities every day. So, what we can deduce from the story is your entrepreneurship can grow with the time. The important thing is to start. The second story is also from Denizli, Turkey. Uh, two women in Pamukkale district of Denizli started producing bags by weighing a sheet of leather with the money they sold three kilos of ravioli about three and a half years ago. The women who produced handmade bags completely by hand turned the coal cellar under the apartment building into a workshop when their orders increased. In September 2017, two housewives whose production get increased in two years participated in the women first in entrepreneurship project competition organized by the General Directorate of Lifelong Learning of the Minister of the National Education. Before the final, the entrepreneur women turned the call cellar under their apartment into a workshop and were to come first into competition. The entrepreneur women who made it to the last stand in the competition organized across Turkey won the first place in the final held in Istanbul on December 5, 2017 and were awarded 15,000 Turkish Liras. Remember, what you learn, you should use your creativity. The last story is the Sherife Alan's story. She is a housewife and a mother of three children in Karaman's Armenek district and she produces olive oil with the grants she received from uh, Cosquets Women Entrepreneur Course and she exports her products 
uh, via the internet. Stating that unemployment increased with the closure of the mines in the city and that she, went, uh, she wanted to find a solution to this uh, with her own means. She has a garden full of olive trees and she saw an opportunity to create a new business for her. Alan, who participated in Coscap's Women Entrepreneurship course, started producing olive oil thanks to the workplace she established two years ago with the 100,000 lira grant support she received. Alan, who planted a 500 more olive trees in her garden, produces about 10 tons of olive oil a year, with the olives grown by the farmers around her. Alan, who sells the oil she produces through the internet, even exports the oil. Uh, her son, Osman Alan, said that they have started to export the olive oil uh, to Germany, Norway, Sweden, and Japan via the internet. As overall, you should examine your area and you will find your inspiration to start. Congrats, you have completed the modern life. Thank you.